not the dreaded Shadow Priest. Who could have seen this coming? The title is Martian Stew, and this is not a cooking stream. From a certain point of view. Relax your mind. Opponent is not one of those famous, like, drawing patches type gamers. Together in what would you put in a Martian stew? Potatoes? Definitely potatoes. Definitely potatoes. And we can stop there. That's enough. No herbs. Just water and potatoes. That's all you need for a Martian stew. Am I right or am I right? Opponent is a Ryan Gosling Sigma? What does that mean? What is a Ryan Gosling Sigma? Does anybody know? I don't. I really miss the, like, free taunts I used to play whenever I would do stuff like this, you know? It used to be I would, like, clear a board and play a bunch of taunts, gain a bunch of armor. Then they nerfed all my funny tools. You could, I could probably just throw in some Crypt Keepers in here. That would probably fit just fine. I also think Scales and Floops Gloop would probably do okay. That hurt my feelings. Uh, what are the chances I can deal with this? This and Ferocious is a pretty decent amount of armor. That's pretty decent. If you drain the water and mash the potatoes from the Martian stew, you can then make marshed potatoes? Exactly. Yeah. That's how it's done. Sure, you can Crypt Keep her, but can you Crypt Share her? Nope. It's an exclusive. Naturalizing the 2-4 should kill the opponent? Yeah, I agree. There's no other conclusion to draw. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to gain 12 armor from this this turn. Then, I'm going to do this. I don't really feel like giving them two cards right now. <laughs> We're like just shy of stabilizing. Just just a little bit more. Like ANR would end it, right? ANR would be great. Be so into it. My opponent is doing a terrible job of drawing Shadow Attendant, by the way. Like, I feel like if they were a serious gamer, they would they would draw Shadow Attendant before now. Frenzy Fellwing is one of my favorite cards ever, for real. It's a pretty cool card. This might be a Solar Eclipse. Right. 
Rising Waves isn't great here, right? Oh yeah, we knew... Okay, we can A in our next turn. Cool, 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 cool. I, like, we knew that was on the bottom from before. I forgot about that. <laughs> I guess the question is going to be, do we a &R refresh mana and do, like, this and board clears, or do we a &R just heal to full because we're cowards? Or are we dead in the meantime? With loop and tokens, you could run the 7-8 taunt that gets reduced. It's true, I could. And I used to. It's kind of what I was referring to when I was talking about stuff I used to do. Do we miss two damage, chat? Do we make an oopsie whoopsie? Do we make an uh oh uh oh? We missed more than two damage. Did they have lethal? I guess I just heal. If they want to full trade into the a and &R. Didn't they have lethal if they did that differently? They 1000% had lethal? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, good for me. <laughs> Huge Toad has your favorite art, though. Huge Toad does have pretty good art. I'll give it that much. Be hilarious if I still lost. Which I think is possible. Like, I get to... Either play a lot of stuff or something. Hmm. Do I draw? Or do I refresh? Or do I gain armor, I mean? I draw probably, right? Now here's the question. Do I naturalize this? I feel like super not giving them more cards, right? Right? I don't know. We'll see. That might be stupid. So again, they either like full trade into the ANR or we get to draw a bunch of stuff. We have a lot of mana now. Question, question, question. Did I do something bad? What did I do? Did I make a whoopsie? Oh, you're talking to someone in chat? Is the most bloodthirsty mod gonna give Steam in the benefit of the doubt? There we are. Ooh, hey. Hey, goof. What's up, goof? Rising Wave. I mean, Double Wild Rising Wave clears everything, right? So then... Does it have to be Double Rising Wave? I'm gonna like stop calculating this and actually just finish the work. <laughs> I 
I think we're okay. Trade until 1-2 and then wave. But I also needed to kill the um, Shadow Attendant. So, like... I think I was playing both waves no matter what. This must be the way. Not gonna lie, chat. I totes forgot that... I have a Mista Vista trigger up. It was lethal. Not really, no, right? I had 12 damage. I could have done. Anyways. Like, if I'd solared the first one and then solared. One of the things. No, not even. I can just play this, right? GG's, I win. That's what's up. There is no light, only spaghetti. I guess I had plenty of health, right? Maybe I should have just pushed face with it. But yeah, here comes the... Like... <laughs> Mista Vista value. This must be the way. We got a fair pit of damage just off of that, though. And we got to keep our kill Jaden. Look at us go. Look at us go, chat. Boop. Grim Blazer. I see. Burr, 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 burr. Too many monitors is addictive. Should I have more monitors to be more addicted? Thoughts? Thoughts, chat? Anyone know when and how come Mysterious Challenger is banned? Mysterious Challenger and some other things that get secrets from your deck are banned because they, they're bugged. KVLT coming in with the raid. KVLT, how's your stream? How was your stream? What were you up to? Well, we have Guff, which is a good sign. Guff is a good sign, chat, I think. As someone who's working on one monitor and watching you on another, yes. Yeah, I have, like, Bonus monitor where I check OBS and Discord and stuff. Game in the foreground, and I have Twitch chats over here. When I play Pocket or Snap, I flip the game monitor and the chat monitor. Because those ones I play in vertical mode. Thanks, Luchi. Stream was good, KVLG. Nice. I was a Demon Sea Warlock you quit on, sad. Yeah, you hate to see it. This deck doesn't beat that deck, so... I wasn't gonna waste my time on it. I just wasted my time on a quest lock game, so. 11 and three with a heal burn? Nice, nice. Deck looked cool. Mm -hmm. All right, I drew this in the right order. So now we're going to 23 mana. Chat, thoughts on 23 mana? Crab Rider OP. My opponent is playing hand buff paladin to the max. Hmm. Could do that. Is it time for this though? I think we gotta give it a little bit more. Just a little bit. 
23 mana is definitely more than 22. It's so true. I like how we have to gain so much more mana to get up to the cap, too. <laughs> it's still so far away. Oh my goodness, chat. That is disgusting. That is nasty. I think that shouldn't be allowed, frankly. Well, I don't love having to go this thing and rising waves this turn, but if they follow it up with a taunt, I can always just naturalize it. Oh, I can also just do this and this, and then we'd still have that for later. <laughs> I don't know. Seeds clears a lot of boards, and I knew that would clear that board. So. There we go. It stacks? Yeah, so. Guff sets it to 20. Heights increases it by 3. So it depends on which order you do. If you go Heights into Guff, your cap is then set to 20, and so you don't get anything bonus from the Heights. But if you do Guff first, it sets it for 20, and then Heights adds 3. I think the cap is like 99 now or something like that. What do you think of nerfing Demon Seed by shuffling the quest line in the deck at the start of the game? I, I heard that Maxi was just doing that. Like, he's already on that. <laughs> so I think it would probably be fine. No! I hate when it does this, chat. Because not only do I have to log back into the stupid game, but you guys all have to look at my gross monitor. Do we get to see my wallpaper too? That's true. Alright, well, now I have to think about things. Like this. I feel like I should be excused from that order lol. Because... I, it disconnected my game and I didn't like it. Right? It's not my fault. It's not my fault, chat. Blame somebody else. Are these almost done, by the way? Can we be done with that? Monitor shaming is real. <laughs> Alright, I do think it's time for this, like, poison seeds. Alright, I'll take this. I'll take... This. And I guess we draw. Should I draw or should I Theo, actually? I should Theo. Give them a due process. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'll take that. You can have due process. And I'll play this. Alright, I have to play this next turn or I don't get a kill Jaden. Oh, well, it's that easy. <laughs> My beloved Tarandi. Uh, isn't Odd Law notorious aggro human? I should keep rising waves, right? Oh, is that the KVLT priest? <laughs> is it playing anything that gets uh, hit? Probably not, right? Neat. Alright, I'll play that. Seems fine. Seems fine. Wait, it's odd law it is, with all with all its heart.
That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Word. Starting the operation. Starting the operation. I noticed the bug recently. If your Theotar is burning and you swap the card with it, opponent gets a burning card and it disappears the next turn. Are you sure you didn't just swap a card that was burning and that's why it burned? What's my favorite of the Frozen Throne hero cards? Probably... Oh, Gul'dan, Gul'dan. I was about to say probably Anduin, but no, it's Gul'dan. For sure. Hands down. It, like, it, it's a toss-up after that. You know, Then we have Anduin... Frostless, Jaina, and Uther, which are all like really strong contenders for me, but like Gul'dan, hands down, no contest. What's your favorite Twitch streamer that isn't me? Are there Twitch streamers that aren't me? I don't think there are. Doesn't sound like me. It's my new method of not having to choose a favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh. Does Double Rising Tide end it? I can't do them both this turn. So I do one. And then I can make this trade and make that trade. And I'm pretty happy about that. Not bad. Who's my favorite Hearthstone creator? Me. Haha, <laughs> you didn't you you didn't you didn't exclude me this time. <laughs> I get to pick myself. I got into wanting to stream because of watching Brian Kibler. So there's that. Alright, I think this Mista Vista value is gonna be pretty good. We get, like, one turn of either deleting anything that they develop, or they skip a turn. Um. Well played. Relax your mind. Rising Tide really is sleeper broken. It's pretty broken. It is pretty broken. Here we go. Just in time to take some damage. Plus one attack. Good, good. That's one. Of, yeah, give me that twice. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Vista. I, I mean, anyway, it won. It won. You guys can't judge Mr. Vista. Chat. It did win. All right. It's not like he did that and then we lost. It seems like that was the play. The plus one attack made them concede. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Chat, do I ever keep this? It seems like an incredibly like greedy keep against Spaghetti Priest. Maybe I just keep this one. But I feel like if I resolve a Frost Lotus against Agro Priest, I'm in a pretty good spot. Martian Boo, do you prefer aggro, midrange, control, or combo metas in Hearthstone? I think when aggro is the best deck in Hearthstone, it's the easiest to, like, play with stuff. Like, when there are strong aggro decks like Pirate Rogue around, then it pushes out, like, it makes combo hard to play, so there's less of those types of opponents, which opens up like what I can play. Like there's the most variety available to me. So those are generally my favorite. I guess when aggro gets too strong, it, it can be hard too, but I don't know. Uh, I do like it when most things are represented. I do feel like control and combo should be on the fringes, but like I think mid range and aggro should define most metas. Control decks are fun when they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. Well. This 
So what did I add in here? I forget. I cut the sleeps for something. What was it? Oh, it was the new heights. Yeah. So instead of new heights, what if I put in new swipes? I feel like that would be better, especially considering how many of my opponents are Shadow Priest. Alright. Thoughts on me being a greedy, greedy Martian and playing this before I play this? Y'all can't stop me from doing it! <clears throat> Don't doo-doos play spreading a... As a hunter main, I agree. I love playing against mid-range decks, but hate playing against control decks as hunter. It sometimes feels like it's an auto-lose. Well, I, that's not why I care about it. I just feel like... You know, control isn't a funny... Like... Off... Like, a funny, unusual, non-straightforward strategy if, like, it's commonplace, right? <laughs> Ooh. Well. It doesn't clear everything. I guess I'm going to go Seeds, Rising Waves next turn. Seeds, Rising Waves. Then I don't really have any mana for anything else, but I'll be at 22 health unless they, like, burn me with stuff. I know you mean Spreading Plague. <laughs> and no, uh, people don't really play Spreading Plague that much, but I can see it being helpful now. Mm. It's kind of funny, like, so YouTube chat and YouTube, if this if this game makes it into the video, you're going to have no idea why I didn't finish that statement. <laughs> I, 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 read a, I read out the chat message and then abruptly stopped for who knows why. <laughs> All right, hopefully they don't have 16 damage and we can just like Mista Vista to the moon. That one too always messes up the waves. I know, it's brutal. I think if it was just one one two, I'd have naturalized and cleared the previous turn, but because there was two, it wasn't worth like giving them four cards to clear it. Mm-hmm. Mana's for me's. Armor's for me's. Oh, hey, Anar. Hey, Anar. Ooh, I guess I'll do this. We unlocked without guff, chat. Why does Druid not get any removal printed in recent days? Like, Rising Tides is a mage card they got to use, but for some reason, Druid doesn't get wide board clear cards. It's because they want to have class weaknesses. And that one of the class weaknesses of Druid is that it doesn't have wide board clears. Which is why they give them wide board clears anyway. Just... Um... I bestow these gifts upon the world. As a mage card. <laughs> well played. You have bested me. Even more Shadow Priest. We're up against Bob Guy. Silly Bob Guy. Would I ever play Arena Mage? I would ever play me Arena Mage. Would I play it today? No. But I would ever play it. Aha! <laughs> this is not. Shadow Priest. This is, I'm going to play Due Process on Two Priest. You guys think that'll work out for me? Oh my goodness. It's Best Line Priest? Now this is Pod Racing Chat. This is the opponent we want to do process. Does making a sigil just bug the game sometimes? Is that what happens? 
It's really annoying. Oh, we survived it. We survived it, chat. Why does it do that? Why is it always so buggy? Why does it have to be buggy every every game forever? Why can't why, why can't it just sometimes not be buggy? You know what I mean? Just sometimes. I think I'd rather this get rising waves. This patch has been especially bad, yeah. I'm so torn between catching your streams whenever I can and waiting for the video. Stream is fun, but watching your nightly videos has been the perfect nightcap. Aw, oh, well, glad you're enjoying it. And thank you for stopping by when you can. Martian, what do you think of Transformers? I myself have pushed myself near bankruptcy clipping, but I'm happy so I can't complain. Well, well that's good. At least there's no regrets. Uh, what do I think of Transformers? I think they're more than meets the eye. They're robots in disguise. That's what I think of Transformers. Can't be mad at Blizzard. It's a small company trying their hardest to provide a cool game for us. That's true. That's true. All right. I take it all back. It's the first time I've gotten to be Mildred in a while, right? Like when we've been playing this deck, we're usually not being Mildred. We're usually being something else. We're usually being Kill Jaden. <laughs> and then like the mill elements is kind of just not really there. All right. Well, I hate that I've already drawn the Kill Jaden because it means we're going to get wrecked. You just feel it. You know what else is funny is if they ever complete their quest reward, right? They um If they complete their quest reward, they just get to draw it instantly next turn. My hand is too full. That's pretty good though. Powering through it. Maybe they don't have the time. Maybe I don't need to worry about that. <laughs> they might not have the time to complete that. So I've already... I haven't played Guff yet, right? So that's a little sus. But like, shouldn't I just play Kill Jaden next turn? There was a windstorm last night, so I heard a lot of Transformers blowing up. Oh, I get it. Like the real life Transformer thing. I'm going to overdraw something. I wonder what it is. <laughs> milling them down. Milling them down real fast, chat. They still need an eight. They don't have one yet. My hand is too full. I bestow these gifts upon the stew. The virtue of the wild. I don't know. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> My hand is too full. Hopefully we mill their only eight. They never play an eight year. It's fine. It's fine. Are we gonna get to Theatar their quest reward, by the way? You never know. You never know, chat. That hurt my feelings, and that hurt my feelings. What's in the ETC? Silly Marshy, armor isn't feelings. Armor is not feelings, that's true. Discovered an eight? Yeah. 
but it's okay. It's okay, we're gonna theotar it. Alright, now we have the guff. We like the guff. Do I want anything else in this whole deck? Not really, right? I mean, we could get Rising Waves, that'd be pretty good. This must be the way. All right, Theotar, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to Stu. Because they could probably... <laughs> they could probably, you know, put themselves in a position to where they wouldn't overgraw their quest reward. Oh no! I, like, are we? We're actually just gonna lose right now. <laughs> Theotar, I need you to hit one time, please, please. Come on! <sighs> what a freaking rookie over there! What are they doing? <laughs> uh, I guess. I mean, if they have puppet theater, right? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like they do. 